All right, so I'm back. I'm back here at base camp after experiencing the total solar eclipse in Dallas, Texas. A date I've been waiting for for about seven years. I've seen partial eclipse, uh, I don't know, probably about 15 in my life. You know, growing up as a kid, we used to get the cereal boxes and poke a hole through it and view the solar eclipse at school through these boxes and stuff. But seven years ago, I watched people on YouTube experience the total solar eclipse and I missed it. I missed that event. I should have went, but I didn't know. I didn't know what I was missing. And so seven years ago, I put together this video clip, which I probably watched probably over 200 times. It inspired me to go to Dallas this year to experience the total solar eclipse. And uh, it's a video I've watched so many times and uh, I told myself, you know what? The next time this happens, I'm not gonna miss it. So here's this video clip that I had for a while now. Enjoy. Diamond ring! Oh! Oh! oh my god. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? It's out there. This is absolutely insane. Oh, wow. Look at the breeze. Is so <laughs> totally creepy. Oh my god, the sun! Oh my goodness. This feels so weird. Oh my goodness. There's like sunset, sunrise, every direction. People are going nuts. This I did not expect. I don't know what I expected, but... Oh my god! <laughs> but I didn't know what you could experience from it. Uh, where the moon completely covers the sun, it goes dark, and you can see the corona, the outside ring of the sun, and the birds would go to sleep, and the crickets would chirp, and, and the bugs would come out, and the temperature would change, and. I didn't know and people would freak out. And so I watched that video so many times. I'm like, you know what, all right. So I did all this research. All right, when's the next total solar eclipse? Okay, April 8th, 2024. Where, where do I need to be? Okay, so I looked up cities where I could fly into and fly back. And so I figured Dallas, Texas would be the best place to view it. You know, the weather's usually pretty good in Dallas. Um, you know, away from the clouds up north, you know, up in Maine and, and New York and stuff. And so. I decided seven years ago, I'm like, all right, Dallas is the place. I'm gonna fly into Dallas, you know, experience the total solar eclipse. And this is a plan I've had for over seven years. I've told friends, I told family that I was gonna miss, I wasn't gonna miss this event. And going up to this event, two weeks out, I'm tracking the weather, I'm tracking the weather, and it was not looking good at all. I was watching all these weather channels. I'm like, there's gonna be clouds, there was thunderstorms, and it was not looking good. We are going to have significant problems if you're planning on viewing this eclipse in Texas. In so I still think there's a very low chance that we have just clear skies and everything looks great and we can totally see the uh, total eclipse. The weather, on the other hand, we've got a couple problems to talk about. We are still looking at considerable high clouds uh, overspreading the areas we have. That's what it would look like. You're going to be hard pressed to see anything. Then you throw in some high and some low clouds and there's a 35% chance of that. We're kind of out of luck. 
Still think there's a very good chance of high clouds being around. Now the question is, are those high clouds going to be thin or are they going to be thick? Thicker high clouds, yeah, those would obstruct viewing. That's kind of one of the questions that remains. Well, the fact we're going to be dealing with fires and blowing dust and wind. Let's just get into that. Notice this afternoon we're going to have a broken line of thunderstorms develop along a Pacific cool front. Spinny, spinny, doom, doom issues. Plus hail, wind, and flooding. So at least we get a little bit of hope here. And again, I'm just calling it a little bit of hope. Put together this really cool graphic, okay, for Monday. And the chance of us having clear skies during the eclipse, okay? That, if we had clear skies, that's what it would look like, okay? So... It was not looking good. Not good at all. I was flying into Dallas. The city was covered in clouds. And I've been waiting for this moment for over seven years. I took a week off of work. I bought plane tickets to get to Dallas. And I knew I was going to spend about 18 hours on air at the airport and on planes and traveling to get places. And, uh, and then this event wasn't going to happen again here in the United States until 2045. If I was going to miss this event because of clouds, I would have to wait another 20 years to see it. Come on, cloud. Get out of the way. You're in the way. All right. Do you guys want to see? I'm in Dallas, Texas, at the airport, right there. The airport's right there, and the parking structure's right there, and there's planes flying all over the place, and the sun and the moon's right above. It's hot. It's humid here in Texas. I'm going to wear these, and then you guys, you guys are going to be so cool. You guys are going to put this on right now, so hold on. All right, so if this was the sun... It's so good. It's so good. And it's getting darker outside. It's starting to look like this. What time is it? Oh, we got eight, nine more minutes. I gotta eat more cookie. There it is. That's about right. There's a big cloud coming. What time is it? 1.32, we have seven minutes. We have seven more minutes. Oh, the cloud's moving, the cloud's moving. Go that way. Yep. Get out of the way, cloud. Oh, there's a big cloud. What time is it? We got six more minutes. This big cloud right here needs to go. It needs to go away. Wow. One minute. This is ridiculous. We're about 30 seconds away from the dark side of the moon. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. I see street lights coming on. And right now there's a big cloud in the way. So it's safe for me to take off my glasses because there's a big cloud right there. What time is it? We're about 30 seconds away. It's really dark outside. Darkness. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Any second now. 
Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Not yet. Not yet. Hold on. I am one small step away from this huge event that's only going to last three minutes and 52 seconds long. And if I was going to miss this, I'd have to wait 20 years to see the next one. And so the cloud just needed to get out of the way. Get out of the way, cloud. And then the dark side of the moon, traveling at 1,600 miles per hour, eclipse the sun. It's getting really dark. It's getting really dark. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Focus. Holy cow. Okay, move out of the way, Cloud. Move out of the way. Oh my goodness. That is unbelievable. That's nuts. It's so quiet. Wow. That's awesome and amazing. Goodness. goodness it's like a big hole in the sky you can see the rays of the sun you can see the planets over here jupiter venus and mars oh my goodness I'm just going to shut up. Wow. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> wow. There's a small cloud coming right now. It just looks like a big hole in the wall, like someone poked a hole in the sky. It's completely black in the center. Here comes a cloud. What? It's like super quiet. <laughs> Let me take a little bit. Look how dark it is. That's unreal. Cloud's moving out of the way. What time is it? We got one more minute. What time is it? We got one more minute. Look at the sun rays are huge. I can see some solar flares right now. Toward the bottom part of the screen, the bottom part of the sun, you can see a big solar flare. And at the very top as well. Wow. Wow. That's insane. That is amazing. That's awesome and amazing. It's looking good, guys. It's looking real good. Wow. That's unreal.
That's crazy. Oh, here comes the cloud. You still see the, the clouds. Oh, look, a huge solar flare. Here comes the sun. Here's the diamond ring. Oh my <laughs> Oh Oh my goodness, goosebumps. Wow. Actually this cloud's actually working out a little bit. Okay, time to put on the shades a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. That's awesome and amazing. Here comes the sun. That was insane. That was so cool. I never thought, I mean, it was just, I was in awe for hours. I had goosebumps for so long after that. It was epic. Unbelievable, 100%. Yeah, it's such a, an amazing event that is so rare that the next time this is gonna happen here in the United States, it'll be in 2045 and so I don't know if I could wait that long I don't think so in two years the next total total solar eclipse is supposed to happen in Spain and you know I just I just might I just might have to be there we'll see we'll see uh, and obviously I don't have the fat fancy cameras and in the telescopes and all that stuff so I, I looked through YouTube and tried to find the the best um, video that kind of represents what I saw. And so I'm going to show you that right now. This is not my footage. Uh, but I'm just extremely, extremely grateful to experience the dark side of the moon, to experience the total solar eclipse. And yeah, I, I, I was amazed, completely blown away by the experience and so I'm very grateful for that. The clouds the clouds opened up, the sky opened up and uh, allowed me to experience experience the uh, the total solar eclipse and I'm super grateful for that. So all right guys hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, hopefully you guys are taking small steps every day towards your dreams, towards your goals. And we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe in two years we'll we'll see it again. Until next time. See ya. Love ya. Bye.